I asked you what you're doing here. Hello? Do you know who I am? You're a guardian. We know that. So come on, let's get on with it. You found us, now what? I don't know what you think is going on here, but, um... You, you seem like a really cool guy. And, uh, cute, too. So, uh, maybe we can cut out a deal here, okay? So, we're, we're not perfect. You know, I lost that stupid watch once, but, you know, big oh. deal, right? And the thing with my, the, the spilled water and my disappearing arm, nobody saw. <laughs> Look, we've all had a few near misses, but Evie's all right, right, girls? It's fine. Fine? Please, from the sounds of it, you guys sound like bigger screw-ups than I ever was. Dude, where do you get off calling us screw-ups? You're not here on official business, are you? Hmm, not that I know of. So you're not trying to take us back? Not me. Oh, thank God. Well, hold on, I, I, I wouldn't start celebrating just yet. Why, what do you know? Well, I, I know that the three of you must be rookies, which means you're in transition. Which means that as soon as anybody down here figures out who you are, you're gonna be bounced back up so fast your heads will spin. Well, we can't go back. It's not fair. Like you said, we're new with this. We're still in transition. A and you're a guardian. I mean, you can help us to, to figure out how to fix things. Or at least explain it so they'll understand. See, I don't, I don't know what I can do. Because, uh, you know, I don't have my powers, and I'm, I'm just here on a pass. I, I... There must be something that you can do if you really think that we're in trouble. Well, yeah, that's the thing. I, I pretty much think you are, but you know what? Maybe that's for the best. What? Going back, I mean, things aren't going so good down here. So, you know, maybe, maybe we should just leave this mortal world behind with all its craziness and, and disappointments and just, just get on with it, you know? Get on with eternity. You don't even know me. I deserve this time here on Earth to make things right, to finish what I started, and nobody and no one is going to stop me. Not this time. You're right. I, I don't know you. So why don't you tell me? Why is this so important? She's never told any of us the whole story. You don't want to hear it. Tell us, Paige. What was your life like when you were alive? It was incredible. I was young, had money, traveled all over the world. And I had the most wonderful husband who tried to give me everything I could have ever wanted and in many ways did. I feel a major butt coming on. She fell in love with another guy. He wasn't like that, Casey. Kevin Collins was my first love. I never really got him out of my head or heart. And Will knew that. You also know th that if I was going to close the door on the past, I needed to say a real goodbye to Kevin. And you agreed? I wanted to be the wife that he deserved. So on the night of the accident, that's where we were going. We were on our way to the airport. I was going to see Kevin, and Will was coming with me. For some reason, I decided I wanted to drive. Guess I thought it would calm my nerves down, but it didn't. And when when something jarred in front of the car. I lost control, and it went down the pavement. My husband died that night. I hung on for a few more weeks, and Will, <laughs> his last wish was that I carry on and finally put the past to rest so that I could love him in death more than I did in life. And that's what I'm going to do. That's why you have to help us. Paige, I, I don't Please. know. Please. I... Please, at least say you'll try. All right, you know what? I know what it's like getting involved in your lives here, getting involved with friends and everything. But you know what? They're probably already suspicious. I can't go back. There's no way. Whoa! Look, I already told you, I don't know if I can help any of you. But I'll try. You will? But first, I, I need to know everything, okay? All your stories. You first, Casey. I'll tell you my story. My life was amazing. Tons of friends, my pick of the boys, man, I had it all. Till, um, 
This burnout, who I guess was totally jealous or something, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. slips God knows what at this drink in my party, and next thing you know, I'm in this coma, right? Right. If you're gonna lie, forget about it. Yeah, I'm not lying. The truth, Casey. The truth, though, you're on your own. There was, there was this boy I liked. He took me to this dump, which was basically a, a crack house. And even though I talked a big game, I'd never been anywhere like that before. But I didn't let on, you know, because I wanted to be cool. I wanted him and his friends to like me. So when he asked me to get high, I did. It was a speedball, you know, cocaine laced with heroin. Snorted two lines. And pow. <laughs> Oblivious. My first time, but it killed me. One mistake and I'm dead. But just because I wanted a few people to like me get invited to some parties and stuff and have fun. Casey. Okay, I, I don't need your sympathy, okay? Help me get back what I had before I messed up. Even if it's just for a little while. There's not much to tell, really. I was determined to prove that I could make it on my own because my father always said that I couldn't. So I ran off and got involved with a man. Someone that I thought that cared about me. But as it turns out, he didn't give a damn about the poor little blind girl at all. Just her money. And when she found out that he was scamming her, he shut her up. Yeah. I was foolish and stupid and naive. But not anymore, and I can prove that. I need to prove it, not just to my father, but to myself that I can make it on my own, that I can accomplish anything. So what do you think? Can you help us? Oh, well, I'll tell you what, I'm still not sure how, but, you know, you guys are amazing. I'll, I'll do what I can. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God, I'm late for my shift to the clinic. <laughs> now that I know we're all going to still be around for a while, I better call in. <laughs>